This is a quick tour of my current computer setup. And you know what? Things are looking a little rough around the edges. So I've decided I'm going to make a little shelf, a couple tier system on it. It's going to look something like that and get things a little bit more organized. So we've got everything that would make up the ultimate office. A chair that goes up and down and has folding armrests. Logitech speakers. A custom gaming computer I built that I don't play games on. A second computer. 32 inch Samsung 4K monitor. And a 27 inch Asus. A video surveillance system that only works sometimes. And a new one I haven't installed yet, but works good as a stand. Gonna try and do this with just old materials I have kicking around. Since I'm such a hoarder, I should have plenty of stuff. I tried shaoshugi barn on these, but the regular fur came out like trash. And then these uh, pressure treated actually came out half decent looking. A little burnt on that. Instead of using the stands that come with my monitors, I decided to pick up one of these. This is uh, made by Mounted. I got it on Amazon. It's 140 bucks, kind of pricey, but it claims you can put three 32 inch monitors on it. And so I think this is gonna work good for me. They're adjustable and it just clamps on the back. However, one problem I see is as soon as I took it out of the package, this little bracket right here, uh, as you can see over here too, this is made out of aluminum. And when I was looking through the reviews, one guy had this thing crack on him. Yeah, look at that custom bracket there, adapter plate. Anybody got a guess as to what this perforated aluminum is off of? Comment down below if you got it, if you know what that is. Um, it's offset quite a bit, but this TV's like feather light, so I think it should be strong enough. Let's go find out. There we go, it's looking half decent. Holds that 32, no problem. It's
Okay, this is ready for paint. Ended up using some scrap plywood on the back for backing plate and uh, caulked where the screw holes were. Nothing fancy, but uh, same over here. Looks good, ready to paint this all black. It's looking pretty decent right there. Just let her dry and uh, be ready to slap together. Wood grain pops nice in the sun, check that out. Okay, the weak link. All of the force from the three monitors transfers to this pole and you get a lot of, you know, it would clamp on the back of the desk like so. You get all that pulling force going this way. Well, this thing is liable to crack and Especially so because, check this out, if you loosen up these three millimeters, right, these are some set screws on the back that they want you to be able to tighten to, to level this post. Because if you were to loosen those all the way out and thread this all the way down, well, that's, you're going to get full contact of the pipe thread. And that is the strongest way. However, it's leaning off this way and you don't want that. So what you do to tweak that, I don't even read the instructions, but I assume this is how it works. You know, loosen it until you get a little bit of play, and then you tighten down these set screws to make it uh, flat and true. This table is flat and level, so I was put my pipe level on here, leveled both sides, and all is dandy. However, what that now does to this is it puts all of that load because remember, the weight's hanging off this way. The monitors are going to be back here. We're looking at the back side of it. It puts all that weight right on these two little screws instead of full contact on the pipe thread. And so that's going to lead. That's a real weak point because this is only cast Chinese, made in China, aluminum. So that's a major design flaw. And I think I came up with a way that I'm going to feel safe. We're going to take a pipe and weld it on this steel bracket down here. You know, some people might think I'm crazy, but I don't want to lose three monitors due to some chintzy little cast aluminum bracket cracking. So here's the attack plan. We're, we just want to get a pipe going from here up into there. So I'm going to, you know, weld this pipe on here and then we'll have a secondary means of, uh, we'll have a secondary means to catch it if it breaks, right? So, because this baby ain't breaking if it's welded onto there. Any problems with that plan? I don't see any. We've got these tight and level. And we'll cut her like about yay. This will work. That should be right where it needs to go. Looks good. Let's tack her in place. Nothing like the smell of burnt Chinese paint, right? So hopefully this thing fits now because I ran a pretty good beat on there. And uh, my ground actually started burning real bad. I don't know what was up with that. Must have been loose. All right, moment of truth. If this don't fit, I'm be a little ticked off. Boom, looks good. Nice, let me get that lined up. So yeah, this is much nicer now. If for some reason this breaks, the steel will not, will still be clamped to the desk and uh, everything's gonna be okay. Now, after putting this on my desk, I did uh, realize that I could have just drilled a hole through here and put a, another pipe to stabilize this rod, but uh, whatever. <laughs> I'm glad I did it the way I did it, so now um, we'll see if this actually cracks in the future. I'll be curious. Unfortunately, once I put these monitors on, all this is going to get covered up, so it's kind of a waste of time to make it look nice, right? I will note uh, that I think it's worth it to put this one on the bottom since that bears the weight of two monitors uh, extended all the way out. And then this one above that, this is what's going to work for me. The lower you put these, the less load it's going to put on this aluminum uh, bracket down here.
One more modification. This bracket I saw in the reviews, one of them split down the middle because all the weight is hanging off on the edge edges. So that's a lot of load on this aluminum bracket. So I did take some steel strapping. I just used some hose clamps, whatever, just to take that load off a little bit, take the stress off of this. And I took the monitors off before I put those on. Really shouldn't have to do all these hack mods, but uh, when you buy something off Amazon for cheap and you want it to last, gotta sometimes do a little bit more re-engineering on it. There we go, all wrapped up and finished. Much cleaner and tighter than it was before. I got the laptop on the docking station on this monitor, main computer on this monitor, and then the TV, you know, you can drag over and use that too. But I plan on putting my security system cameras on there. Um, for now, I'm still using this one, which is glitchy. But yeah, that, uh, that'll that work. And this thing goes up and down, so it actually goes all the way when it's at its full height uh, standing position. The PC's like only probably three inches from the ceiling, which is kind of funny. But it's uh, it's plenty sturdy. This is a very strong table, and it handled the extra weight no problem. So uh, yeah, it's all pretty clean. Still a little bit of cable management to do, but I mean, everything uh, came out pretty good. I guess I ought to show you the table going up. At its lowest height, it's 29 inches. Great for a short chair or short person. <laughs> Little click when it got to the top, but uh, that's its full height. So I'm six foot three and this is actually higher than it would need to go for me. It's uh, very convenient to have it go up though. So if you're getting tired of sitting down in the chair and you want to stand up, stretch your legs out. I don't always do it, but it's nice to have the option. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I just wanted to share this build and looking back at the video footage, it's kind of hilarious. I, I really wish I would have just got a heavier duty three monitor setup instead of doing all those modifications on it, but it hasn't broke yet. And it's actually on sale now on Amazon for $118. So uh, check that out down below if you do want that one. I wouldn't suggest it for heavy monitors though. Definitely get something stronger. So, you know, drop the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment, any of that stuff. Hugely appreciate it. And, uh, you know, any feedback, definitely good stuff. And you guys uh, have a good rest of 2020 nearing the end of the year. So I'll see you in the next one.